Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 6 of our new Let's Play. If you missed episode 1 or want to start at the beginning, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner to that episode. I highly suggest it. Episode 1 has a lot of new player friendly tutorials on um, how I go about starting the campaign. Last episode we took Fort Lavelle and Fort Stevens. It is September 1775, so... Uh, Winter is coming sooner rather than later. We do have our northern border fairly secure with a uh, thousand fifty men at Fort Frederick, another regiment of militia at Hubbardton. We have two militia down here at Fort Lavelle. I do need to double check, see um, one of these are skirmishers, so I would like to shift them out. Uh, I, I like the militia with the skirmishers with the main army. And then we have these guys over at Leicester. Now, some of the thoughts, or some of my thoughts, are we could move this force down from Fort Stevens to Leicester, move these guys up into Fort Stevens and Fort Lavelle, and that'd be 2,000, um, like, 3,200, and then 4,400. If we recruit, say, one more regiment at Hartford, I think we'll have enough men to actually threaten Boston and take it, like, just as winter hits. And I think that would be a fantastic idea there. So that's probably what we'll start doing. Um, it's either going to be New Haven. Well, New Haven has a lot of men available to us. We've um, de definitely structured it that way so that New Haven and Hartford, they'll have the majority of our population and workforce. Other places, they're, they're a little low. Actually, Middleborough has quite a large workforce. Leicester, too. And then some other places, basically not so much. Uh, Fort Montgomery actually has quite a large amount of men. So Congress addresses the colonies. The Second Continental Congress issued a proclamation known as the Declaration of the Causes and Necessity of Taking Up Arms. This document outlined the colonies' reasons for taking up arms in defense of their rights. So uh, things are definitely underway in the colonies to face off against the British. So I think what we'll do... We'll move this force down to Leicester. Um, don't really like them moving like that necessarily. Let's have Quicksilver move this way. Let's have... What, who was it? You guys can leave the garrison. Head down here. And then over here, I don't want to elicit a response from Boston necessarily. So we'll just see how this goes. And then maybe we can move one... One unit to to Fort Stevens. Everybody else will move out. I don't... If, if we see a large force moving out, then that is how it be. Um, over here, we'll move this force out soon. Okay. And uh, let's send these guys out again. Okay, so while this fleet moves out, we're going to do a couple things. The, the muskets, the U.S. muskets just uh, procced. So we do need to build those and... We're going to add them to the queue, probably do something like four. So we don't really need three pound galloper guns anymore. Ammunition is not as important anymore. Civ muskets, probably still important. So we're going to do something like this. Once the wagons are done for this, this company over here, we'll stop producing wagons because they are taking a lot of our resources away from us. And then as far as moving out over here, uh, I would like Benedict Arnold to swap spots over here. I would like Quicksilver. Okay, I don't necessarily need you running across <laughs> across the way. And then what I was thinking actually is edit this unit and turn them into Fusiliers. And then if I recall, I actually have more six pounders in my arsenal. So they're going to get these. And then this unit here is going to be Fusilier Artillery with the four pounders that we just moved out, and then more Fusiliers. So a decent amount of shifting about, perfectly fine. We're just going to have two militia over here. Oh, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to add cannons to you guys so you guys can actually protect yourself in case any pesky Canadian militia comes this way. And then over here, you're, you're fine... Can we move... Who are you guys? Not the... Not the guys I was thinking about. Let's move you guys down to Providence. And then 
that'll that'll probably work. Uh, smugglers break the law, seize the cargo. What's the loyalty? Rhode Island, perfectly fine. Um, I'm perfectly fine with minus three percent loyalty in Rhode Island when they're already at a hundred percent. Let's move Benedict Arnold up here for some li line of sight. So Flax is going to Fort Stevens, that named after a seed or plant that's <laughs> a wheat. Very interesting. And then Lester. So I'm really liking the look of how Power Force is going. And then, of course, we'll we'll try and take Boston before winter. Um, I, I do need Arnold to do some reconnaissance. That is your mission right now. So that's that's all looking good. Um, I'm a little bit afraid that that's the 68 gun ship and the 12 gun ship. Um, I always recommend before you move your fleet out that you you save because it just it's a little little tricky. So let's go down or where are we going here? Um, we could go down here to get to the university. So I think we'll do that. So spycraft. Um, keep keep in mind. Benjamin Talmadge is a new general, but it doesn't have plus one general listed up here. So he would just be an officer or somebody that you could put in as a chief of staff, basically. Um, he, Unless you want to replace Arnold or you lose Arnold or something like that. Um, who would ever want to replace Arnold? What what has he ever done in history that... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you guys get it. Okay, so... Portsmouth has two regiments, Salem has one, and then Boston has a boatload. What is that? Four, five, six, seven, plus, um, that's three sets of full dragoon, and then the 50 is the general, so don't worry about the 50, what do you call it, 50 cav over there. So Benedict Arnold, he can actually keep line of sight right there. Can he move back just a tad? No. Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep Benedict Arnold right there. That's perfect. He'll be our little turncoat spy. And then over here, yeah, I'm worried about that two-gun. I need to come across a 40-gun ship um, for the British, and if we can start upgrading our 30s to 40s, then I'll start feeling better about taking on a 68-gun 60, a ship. Even, even all of this, you'd think, oh, you've got more guns. No, a 68-gun ship will basically one shot a 30 30 gun ship it's it's brutal and a 68 gun ship has about 750 men on board and that'll that'll like instantaneously wipe your smaller ships so there's not much of a much of a chance to be honest so uh basically we're probably going to have to wait a little bit and i'll, I'll probably do a little bit of fast forwarding here okay so that that two ship fleet down there that popped in and out. Oh, good goodness. <laughs> I, I don't know how it caught up to us that quick. There needs to be a disengage button. Let's see if we can... I, I'm not even going to try to fight this because we will lose. Um, hopefully we can deal some damage in the auto resolve and not lo lose any reputation. But um, yeah, I mean that 68 gunship just one shots everything. So let's, let's see what goes on. Hopefully we can disengage um, I was told that both sides have the same opportunity to disengage. Um, let's uh, put that theory to the test. We're actually doing damage, mostly to their 18-gun ship. We'll probably do nothing to their 68-gun ship. Um, as far as production goes, we're really struggling with resources. We have 30 materials report. Um, yeah, so that's 68. Okay, we killed the 18, so we gained some reputation. No disengage still. And it's been... Quite a long time for the dis. Oh, there's a disengage. Oh man, that worked out. Okay, so I, I was, I was complaining to Panda Kraut that it seems like you can never disengage against the 68 gun ships, and I was just proven wrong there. So that's perfect. So now I, I think, I mean, we're we're pretty beat up from that. Um, go figure. But I need this fleet to leave the waters, and then, yeah, it's proving problematic. Over here, they're doing better. Um, I did reduce the amount of wagons. Oh, I thought I did. Let's, uh, let's make it like six. Um, I tried to completely remove the galloper guns from this situation, but it doesn't 
seem like I, I can do that, which is a little bit a little bit weird. Um, but that that's perfectly fine. Uh, we're probably one day away from attacking Boston, I think. I don't want to attack too early because I'm a little bit afraid of an invasion. Invasion mechanics are definitely a thing, but I feel like... So we have four regiments of real troops. They have seven, but then they've got the cavalry. But we will have four, seven, eight, nine cannon to their seven, but theirs is probably probably something like 12 pounders. So it'll it'll definitely be tough. I'm not entirely sure that this is a good plan yet. Um, I kind of feel like moving some more men down, and I, I think I, I think I may do that. Oh shoot! What is that that we saw over there? Um, are we being attacked at Lyman? If we're being attacked. Then I need to disband. I really don't want to move Arnold. If they're just shifting troops, that's fine. But if there's an actual attack over here, then that's that's problematic. But I don't I don't think there is. This is where a third general really comes into being. Why are we losing men on these forts? I don't know if we're being attacked or not anywhere else. It's a little little scary to be honest okay can we now that fleet's really banged up and they're i i could move them back down here i, I really want to to peruse the waters with them but I, I really think boston is what we're going to do so i think um let's move these guys out of fort stevens and see we have benedict arnold around to see if that elicits any kind of response i don't want you guys actually moving about. I would love to bring these guys down, but the British definitely seeing like they're kind of moving about. I, I don't want to just randomly lose Herberton to something. Whereas 550, I don't know if 550 men truly stops the British from attacking, but it would definitely make me feel a little bit better. So I will return in a moment. Okay, so unfortunately Lyman is under attack from the British, so I just went ahead and disbanded all of those troops to save the resources, and you'll probably see Lyman taken by the British any moment now. Um, we did unlock something. Perfect, six pound field guns. That is what I would like eventually. So that leaves the issue of now Fort Lavelle might be a little, little open to the enemy. So we really need to attack Boston sooner rather than later. I would love to grab Boston, Salem, uh, Portsmouth, and then kind of secure. I would love to grab the rest of New York and then just leave Canada to itself. There we go. There's Lyman taken. Uh, Lehman? Lyman? I don't know. There's a there's a city in Colorado where I'm from called Lyman, but it's spelled L-I-M-O-N. Ouch. Eight ships over there. Holy cow. I just, I can't get a foothold in the naval department, and it's um really un really unfortunate there so we have nine production points now so something just popped and then i need to look at our infrastructure and let's see nobody's building anything i i'm pretty sure i built a factory somewhere and i would like to build more factories and if i build it in new york that would be fine over in connecticut would probably be better so let's build this factory over here 40 and oh, we have no money <laughs> that's uh that's a problem so let's see what could we sell we're building united states muskets uh horses iron iron always seems to be an issue goods okay textiles we can i have it set to auto sell to 10 but it's not exactly a true auto sell that's uh that sell all of these furs and then what else could we sell? We could sell cigars. Doesn't seem like a necessity. And then that's, um, I mean, that's all we can really do. But build, building up our infrastructure is really, really important. And I think building it in Connecticut is a good idea. Get that going. Because the more we can build out our infrastructure, the better. We're low on officers, too. 
which would be a problem going into winter. But let's, uh, let's start moving our forces out. So not enough muskets, not enough muskets. You guys are just going to have to make do. We're, uh, we're getting ready for the fight for Boston. So that is, that is our plan here. Just need to make sure nothing's going on over there. And then Quicksilver, you are perfect. So this will turn into an army. And then we shall move this army out. And hopefully, I would love if part of their force comes out. You lose so many men to um, desertion so quickly. It's it's really crazy. I, I saw some of the numbers drop and it's, there's like another two men. It's not even a full day of moving out. I would really like them to, especially when I have provisions and food with the army, I would really like them to scale back the desertion. Like... I, I feel like we shouldn't have this many desertion numbers. That's just a, a personal preference of mine, but I, I feel like it's a little, little too crazy how many men you lose. Spanish 55s, great. Okay. No, why are we moving out? And that's another thing, like your forces drift on the battlefield, which I'm really, really not a fan of. I really don't like the, the battlefield drifting and just how large of an area this army takes up on the overall map. Also not something I'm completely a fan of. Um, okay, there's the battle. Oh boy. All right, well, this is the Battle of Boston. This is going to be absolutely bloody. This will kind of like make or break this campaign, but I, I think we can do it. We just have to play. Uh, we, we have to be smart here and... Uh, really watch out for the cav, although the cav are not as strong as they used to be. Okay, on the battlefield, forces are moving out. I would so love a deployment zone. Now, the British are sort of in a, an attack column, march column, when I looked at the, the map, but there are some elements that are forward. They do have their cavalry, so I do need to move into position very quickly, and that's why I'm not moving too far forward, and I'm, I'm trying to, to move in a way there's a little bit natural to what's going on here. Now our artillery is already shooting out. Hopefully we're not causing friendly casualties. Doesn't seem like you cause friendly casualties unless the target is near where the round is firing, even though if you're firing the gun like through your men, which is rather interesting. But as I said, we need to get into position very, very quickly. That is uh, going to be very, very important for, for this strategy. So let's make sure we are in in formation. Let's make sure we are not clipping any of our guns. Now, moving the line is very, very difficult, as you can see here. Um, I don't know what it is about this particular version of the game. Why is this not... Where, whereas Ultimate General Civil War felt like the units were a little bit more, or the, the placement of your units was a little bit easier than it is now. But I do need to make sure that I have men behind. Okay, you guys are really screwing this up. Come on. Form up, please. Perfect, that's what I need. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you're forming the line, you're doing it. You guys are not really doing it, and I don't need you guys shooting at the Dragoons. Um, the Dragoons hopefully will rout because that's not a good position for them. Let's put these skirmishers out over here. Okay, yep, those Dragoons routed. Did they, like, charge into the cannons? Really need... This is really, really bugging me. Um, once my guys are actually in the line I can hit hold but right now they're not they're not going they're, they're not in the line that I need them to be and part of that is because you can see I'm really struggling drawing the line because for whatever reason in this game whereas in American Civil War didn't have this issue you have you have these units that don't want to move on top of each other like, as soon as you try and move the unit on top of each other, that's where you get these major issues. Alright, this flank looks a little... 
uh, not great. Let's <laughs> just put it that way. Okay, let's have their their wavering Quicksilver move over here. How's this going now? Can you guys hold better? Let's move the skirmishers around. Don't know why my mouse is doing this nowadays. Um, move you guys up. And I, I like to have men behind the cannons, otherwise the British seem to rush the cannons. And that's not what I want at all. Um, the, the front line, I did make the front line militia. And that's on purpose. So that the enemy... No, 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 no. Nope, nope, what are you doing? So that the enemy won't, uh, you know, be killing my better guys. Wow, holy cow! Did you see how fast they cause casualties on my artillery? We're not even in full speed. That feels a little... a little broken there. Um, but that's what I mean about charging... charging the artillery. They really love to charge the artillery. And I, I feel like they really need to fix that. I don't... I don't think that is good. Because, realistically speaking, um, you're not going to charge artillery headlong like that because you're going to take a an absolute boatload of great shot. This is pretty crazy that this is not going well over here. Okay, um, probably don't need you guys to be on hold anymore. Let's see how, how this flank is doing. Let's move you guys up. They've definitely ruined this center over here, and I don't have a lot more guys, and there's another charge. Um, thankfully they didn't charge into my my artillery, but we're probably, we probably need to pull this flank back a little. Okay, we shattered those guys, that's good. And then over here, how's this going? Um, this is a, this is a mess over here. Okay, no, don't, don't hit your own guys. Alright, I need to do a quick pause and reform the line. Okay, unpaused. I, this unit ran off because I, probably because they were charging the enemy. So not good. Oh man, there's another charge in coming onto my artillery. I do not like that, how easy it is for them to charge artillery. Not a fan of that. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can fix that up a little in the future. I, I know this game, it's going to be balancing itself for a long time. And that's, that's fully, fully expected. So, uh, this, yeah, they're just, they're just bum rushing artillery. And it is, they, they nerfed artillery too much. Now it's like British artillery has brown besses, so it's not as easy to charge into them, but man how fast they're able to to cause all that damage is pretty ridiculous. What the heck is over... Is that two regiments or just one? We are not doing well uh, against their, like, bum rush tactics. So let's, let's see if we can reform the line, maybe. You do something like that. Um... I mean, our, our artillery is doing all right until the enemy... No, 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 stop. Don't charge out like that. I wish we could pick up the guns. But it doesn't seem like you really can. Okay. Get out of there, please. All right, move up. There's uh, another British unit that shattered. I'm not sure who. Um... Somebody's charging over here? At least it says they're charging. I don't know if they really are charging. Um, our skirmishers are doing fantastic. Let's, uh, let's move these guys up over here. Okay, more more shattered. How's the center doing? Not not great. I mean, keep in mind our, our ranks. I can't put these guys back on their guns, which is really bad. I feel like... I feel like I need to move our move our guys back kind of do a, a tactical retreat okay that's not really retreating in the right direction okay that's 
Let's move you guys to here. Because this this artillery is going to sit here. And we're just we're just kind of pulling back a little, seeing what we can do. So these these artillery, they don't want to get back on their guns. Hopefully I don't lose those guns because of that. Um that's a, a very strange feature to me. Alright, you guys need to combine, move back into the fray. This is getting a little little dicey here and there. Um, come on, I need you guys to form up properly. And then over here, that's great. Nope, didn't I tell you guys to retreat? Pretty sure I told those guys to retreat earlier. Um, it's the F button is fallback. And I, I don't think they complied with the, <laughs> the assignment there. Yeah, now they're getting rear flanked. And now friendly fire. Um, let's see, can you guys combine? Nope. Can't get onto my guns again. I, I really hope I don't lose those guns because of this. That would be really unfortunate. Our center is crumbling. Can you guys move up behind here? Where's Quicksilver? Quicksilver, you're needed over here. You guys need to move up. Okay. Let's keep, uh, keep you guys going. Some of these small regiments, I just don't know who is, like, what's a fusilier and what's, uh, what's a militia. So I'm really struggling on getting these guys into proper position. Or, so, th or getting them to where they can merge with one another. This flank looks like it's doing really well, so we probably could shift some resources over, um... Uh, yeah. Can you guys combine? That would be great. Let's move you guys up over here. Let's move you guys over here. Grab you guys. You guys can go behind the cannons over here. And then let's grab this. Uh, these skirmishers look like they're doing a fantastic job harassing over here. And then it's kind of just the center. Really, really the center. The... The other flanks kind of doing okay. What are you guys? You guys are militia, right? Okay, get get out of there. Actually, both of you get out of there. And those guys are about to route too. So let's move you over. Over here, this is, this is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, over here, I don't know what you guys are. So you should probably... Are you regulars? Can you two combine? Perfect. What can you combine with? Nope. Okay. You guys need to move up over here. Still a, a big group of enemies over there. This artillery is completely uh, battered. Let's continue moving troops this direction. As we've pretty much got this flank. Under control, why did the red arrow go... What's... What, what are you guys doing? Okay. As I said, that flank looks fine. That's, uh... Okay, they're not... They're not the same thing. You guys are the same thing. Who are you guys the same as? Something over there. Trying to look for... I, I would love if the flags were different for certain units. Um, would make things really, really good. Somebody surrendered... Can we grab you? Steal you? Um, exhausted. Exhausted seems to be a thing. Um, more shatters on their end. Come on, take take those guys out. I wonder if we can... Let's combine you all. Can you guys move up over here? Can you guys combine? Are you two the same? Yes, you are. Perfect. Okay, this, uh, these pieces of artillery, I don't know, like, you guys are in terrible shape. And then we got those surrenders back, artillery. Okay, I think, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy to say, like, things have finally stabilized when, you know. Uh, let, let's pull you guys back, pull you two into the line. Can you guys combine? Are you the same thing? Perfect. Um, did I see an ammo? You guys are good. Are you guys the same thing? Uh, 
yes, perfect. Okay, combine. And then over here, this has turned into a little bit of a mess. Let's have you guys pull forward. And then these guns over here can move on up. More shatters on their end, perfect. Let's have you guys move on up. Moving on up in the world. They're out of ammo, but that's fine. That flank looks really, really good. All right. Quicksilver, you're probably needed more over here. Yep. All right, you guys need to go up. This, this over here is not good. So let's move these guys over. This flank, it's not great, but it's not terrible. I see that, and then another unit um, broke. Oof, okay. Um, hopefully you guys are the same as something over there. We've got a couple captures. We need to, we really need to swing out onto this flank over here. If we can do so. And then let's keep, keep shifting up. Wish there was the, uh, spacebar thing that you have in Total War games. That would be an amazing feature. I feel like you guys are needed over here. Um, keep supplying them. We need more men over here. I really wish I could get these guys back on their guns. So, what? Are you the same? Perfect. What are you guys? You guys are Fusiliers. So probably the same as somebody over there. Actually, you're probably the same as a... Uh, I just lost track. You're probably the same as these guys. Perfect. Okay. Move on up. If we can continue... Continue to move in a way that allows us to um, hit multiple units, that would be perfect. Those cannons are going to be very problematic, but I think if we can move guys behind them then that'll work out perfectly. Um, there's still units right in front of our face, apparently. Let's have these guns move up. Um, more of their guys are shattering, so that's always perfect. Have you guys move up. That supply wagon's doing fine. Where do you guys come from? Okay. I feel like... Oh, victory. Okay. We need to... We need to capture as much artillery as possible. That charge isn't going to make it, but... That is that is the plan here. Um, can we... How much artillery can we capture? And then somebody over here surrendered, maybe? Perfect. Um, can we go out? You need to stop firing. Ooh, that is laggy. I don't know what that lag is from. Um, I'm I'm going to cut out the rest of this because for some reason I'm getting lag, and you guys don't need to see this part of the battle. Okay, just showing off, these are all the units we captured along with one more unit that is coming back. I think a single artillery got off the battlefield. I, I can't reman my guns, and I'm really worried that that means we just lost a bunch of really big guns. However, that is the Battle of Boston over. You can see the carnage. Absolutely bloody. Um, really, really bloody. Although for, you know, an army comprised of a lot of militia, a lot of civilian muskets, a lot of three-pound galloper guns, not too shabby. It was really the British charging the artillery that uh, made this battle interesting, which I, I go back and forth in my head of if I like that or not. I like it. I just, I don't like how easy it was for some of my artillery to lose to the charge. So we did lose seven guns. I don't like that. And I have a feeling it's some of our big guns. Um, Over here, as long as it doesn't say captured, then... Okay, so 5th Company of Infantry Regiment. That sounds like, uh, that sounds like the British, to be honest. 5th Company of Infantry... No, Infantry Regiment. That's us. So really good kills there. I think all of this is ours. Once you see captured, that's British. As I said, really wish they would keep the British flag there. Um, some of their units did 
pretty well, but their artillery didn't do too, too well, which I, I really like to see there, so. Oh, capturing Boston is pretty big. Hopefully that doesn't trigger an invasion. Well, it probably will trigger an invasion. I just don't know if the invasion will happen before winter. Um, usually invade, they don't like to invade at, uh, at winter itself, so. That's, uh, we need to move our forces out. We need to, th okay, that's a lot of surrenders. Um, what are you guys doing? Just move into Boston. Okay, they, a lot of retreating into, into Salem. They moved some of their men down, which isn't too big of a deal. Um, merchants in Connecticut raise money for the needs of the army, which is perfect, 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 perfect. Um, it would be interesting if they, they come down a flax. You're probably needed at Leicester. Actually, can you, can you go intercept, intercept these guys? I know we're, we're really beat up, but if you guys could intercept them, that would be fantastic. Oh gosh. I don't need, I don't need that entire force, but you know what? Uh, why, why not? Let's, um, let's go kill 679 Brits real quick. So that battle of Boston, I haven't even had time to like recover yet because the British thought they could be cheeky and move a force down to Leicester. Uh, very, very interesting, uh, especially like they don't have line of sight to Leicester, but I guess the AI has line of sight everywhere, which is a little bit obnoxious. Um, I'm going to pause and, and get everything situated and then we will attack the enemy. Okay, so a lot of this is just going to be getting our forces combined because they're really small units. This one, I don't like how big that unit is. So let's do... I like about 120 because then the units feel that they're not unwieldy. Like somewhere in that, the, the big 170, 300... You know, all of that, they they become quite unwieldy to me. That's um that's just a personal preference. I don't I don't like the units to be too big. But we're just going to move on up. Looks like the British are, you know, they have the same idea. And then push up over here. And then push up over here. Actually, you guys probably shift up. Let's slow things down just a tad now that I have see where the enemy is and then just continue moving out. And then this, this should be a pretty easy battle. I don't know when our reinforcements will come, but I imagine it'll be a little bit sooner rather than later nonsense. Let's have you guys over here just in case the British decide to charge. And then amazing creep shot over there. That was phenomenal. You love when the artillery gets a good shot on the enemy. One more volley and they should. Yep. Uh, they're wavering. They're not quite retreating. But there goes the retreat. More of our men on the battlefield. Feels a little, little unnecessary. But that is what I want. I want the cannons. To be captured. I don't think I'll be able to hit anybody else, but um, that the cannons are are a big deal. I, it feels like they surrender a lot more if you can capture some of the regiments, and I believe I heard Panda Kraut say that is uh, in fact something that happens. Well, our condition absolutely drained. Can you guys get in? Like their artillery still a lot better than ours. Um, but you can see, well, I don't know, weird, weird things are, weird things are happening here. Can we get into melee with them? All right, they surrendered. Perfect. Back to the global map. That's, that's really what I wanted. Negative 83 casualties. Nobody knows what that means. Maybe we had some babies while we were out on the battlefield. You know, everybody has their weird kinks. But, um, yeah, I, I I'm feeling really good that we took Boston that that battle, I mean, that battle's, you know, whatever. I don't really care in the grand scheme of things over there. Oh, man, can you guys... What is what is going on? Can we capture... Okay, we captured Boston. Can you guys 
grab those over there. No, no, no. Don't, don't attack them. All right, you guys need to join the garrison of Boston. Perfect. Quicksilver needs to capture all of this equipment. Um, we need money. Sell as high as possible. We have 100% loyalty, so that's perfectly fine there. And then you can see the British don't have much left. I wonder what this is down here. Okay, there was one ship there and somehow two ships came about. Uh, looks like Leverett. Uh, maybe Leverett combined with HMS Cumberland or whatever that's going to be. I, I want to see if we can, you know, defeat that maybe. And uh, oh, we're, we're de dealing damage to Leverett. So that's good. So we'll let that auto resolve. Hell of a lot better idea than actually trying to take that that battle on the high seas because as I've said previously, um, they will they will one shot our our ships. That is for certain. So I think we lost quite a few cannons to be honest. Let's see. Well, these guys lost their cannons. So what are I can't really tell what we gained or lost over there. I would just like to farm rep there. Would I, or would I like to try and board this ship and, and take it and then sell it? That's that's also a big possibility because we don't have a lot of money and that ship would sell for, you know, 13,000 most likely. But let's just, let's just see what the disengagement does. Um, what is that? Invasion of Dominica Tension. Increase between Britain and France. You love to see that. USA and France are declining, even though that's a upward thing. So let's see if we can sink the ship before the disengagement happens. Looks like it's going pretty well. We have 48. Okay. And then there's the 68 again. So I think once this this battle's over, we should probably get back into, into port. Um, but feeling pretty pretty good. How's Boston looking? 0% uh, loyalty. That's terrible and we have no resources so there's always that going against us. Okay, I would like to disengage from this um, but you know we're going to have to wait for the auto resolve to, to settle but I, I think once the auto resolve is settled we'll go straight into harbor unless for some reason we defeat that 68 gun ship but we're taking a pretty bad beating here. And then we're going to have to go into a harbor that's not exactly our best one. So I think it's just a 68 gun ship left. You can see like it's doing a number on us. I mean we're doing some damage to it. Not a great amount of damage but we are gaining reputation from this. Okay no 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 stop stop. Ah oh, gosh man. I just want to get out of this fight. Another 30 gun ship doesn't really help us so let's just let this play out and I feel like this is just how it goes I really want to get back to uh back to port not go further out over here that's kind of where I'm at right now so hopefully we can win that one too 55 reputation pretty good so we're just rep grinding at the moment which is perfectly fine and things are actually going well by the looks of the bar um and as soon as this is uh as soon as you can see that or that the two fleets disengage i need to pause immediately and head for newport because we're we're really banged up but you can see in the top left hand corner our rep is going up are we that'd be interesting if we could capture that 30 gun ship really quickly nope okay Back to Newport. Come on, get... Actually, if you guys could maybe even get to New Haven, that would be even better. Um, because I don't... I don't want to deal with the slow... slow grind of Newport. New Haven is a much, much better dockyard. Yes, I think we got out of there, which is perfect, and we gained a bunch of rep from that. So, as I said, as far as Boston goes... Okay, Boston is... We can actually look at Boston now. And let's take a look at what we can do here. Let's pause real quick. Um, we have very little loyalty, but I, I think Boston's loyalty will go up. We could do attribute uh, loyalty bonus, blah blah blah. Production. I feel like I feel like we need a carpenter shop. This could be a recruiting place too. Is a 
possibility. Um, is its provisions that high just because of just because of our supply wagon? That is a, a question they have there. Um, how's this doing? Not enough wagons still, but it looks like it's got enough wagons. And then there's no wagons. What are we producing? How many more? Two? Two's fine. We'll let two produce. Um, can't get rid of that three pound galloper gun. Would like to start producing. Oh, we can't produce six pounders yet. So army innovation. One day. What are we doing over here? That was over here. Oh yeah, I was going for Guards Company, and then we can grab General Baron Von Steuben. I think that's a, a good idea there. As far as our rep goes, I would like to do something, but everything's a little bit too too small at the moment for what I want. Um, so we'll, we'll hold on to our rep for the moment. These ships are absolutely bruised and battered. I would really love to come across a 40-gun ship, so... I think that is a good ending point for this episode. End it on a positive note. We we did some damage in the seas. Uh, that auto resolve showing you off the rep grinding. I think we were somewhere at like 43 or 48 reputation. Um, we took Boston, which actually that's uh this let the day go by so that we can get Boston's bonus and then we can truly end the episode there. So ta-da! Boston is captured. We have finally, uh, finally captured Boston. This is a major blow against the British invaders. By securing Boston, we significantly decreased the British army presence in our northern lands. So that's 50 rep, 20,000 gold doubloons. They're not quite continentals yet, but that really, really helps us out. Um, as far as our infrastructure goes, we could probably... Uh, no, I need factories. Factories are big. Mines are also good, too, and really we're struggling with... Um, I think putting a mine in New York is actually a priority for us. I think that would be really, really good. And then Quicksilver, 112. That's a little unfortunate. We could do something like grab, grab Dragoons, but we have no horses yet. So it doesn't seem like a good idea. I would like guards over, over uh, Grenadiers. So we'll go, we'll go over here and then can we... We could honestly fast track this, but we don't really have the production facilities for it. Man, I need to fast track something. This is just a lot of a lot of wasted materials, to be honest. Horse pasture, not really something I care about. We could do we could do the six pound field gun. And then get rid of Yeah yeah yeah, let's do that. Let's fast track that, because that is twenty-four left over, which is perfect, so. Boom. I guess 109 minus 85 is 33, but I'm not a mathematician. You tell me. So there's that. That feels really good. And uh, I, I think that is actually where we will end this episode. And then uh, I will, <laughs> before the next episode, I will clean up all of my units, try and, try and fix them up because there is some major damage done to certain certain units. I believe, did we capture, we captured a bunch of brown besses, we have a bunch of civilian muskets, which is pretty good to see. As far as cannons, we have some four pounders, some three pounders, not many six pounders, but we can start producing those, and then um, we're doing okay over here. I would like to keep ten, but not not any more than ten. Textiles are used to repair your ship's, um, ship's masts, by the way, they're... Their, um, their sails, I should say, not the not the mast exactly, but their sails. Over here, looks like iron's doing pretty well now. Um, and then we have 10 factories, which is great. We could probably do something like this. That looks pretty good. And then um, we'll put like one, or the when these wagons are done, we'll put that onto the, the six pounder guns. And because I believe really this this should be probably tomorrow or the next day that I'll, I'll be done so that's it for today's episode i've waffled on for far too long if you guys uh enjoy this content please leave a like and comment below if you aren't a subscriber please subscribe i greatly appreciate it i love reading all of your comments you guys are absolutely amazing 
Um, I have a goal of hitting a thousand by my birthday. My birthday is March 20th, so spread the word. I would absolutely love to hit a thousand by then. Um, we have made huge leaps and strides. And that would be about six months of doing this whole YouTube uh, shenanigans, and I, I greatly appreciate all the support you guys have given. So that is it for me. As always, guys, until next time.